last night's sunset and the moon is still up this morning so quite a view as well I know it doesn't come out very well in the camera phone good morning everybody it's uh, Stalling Bear here day four of the shakedown uh, thank you for watching and I really appreciate everybody that subscribes uh, last night was cold very cold uh, so it was a good another good test uh, the night before was wet but not as cold I was comfortable all night uh, last night I did have uh, the thermal underwear on and then I did bring on the uh, puffy jacket a little bit later because it was uh, cold uh, but I, I other than that I slept fine uh, the mystery of the Aquamira it wasn't a casualty uh, the night before, I put it in a insulated bag that I put at the bottom of my uh, sleeping bag. I wasn't sure or not whether or not if it would be affected by freezing. Uh, so I put it in there and I had forgotten about that. I should have done the same thing with my toothpaste because it was uh, quite the struggle to get toothpaste out of the tube this morning. But uh, I, I endeavored and got my teeth brushed. Uh, I did have one casualty though that I noticed. Uh, the pocket, the outside pocket of my pants has a hole in it uh, and my sunglasses were broken uh, so I don't know if the sunglasses punctured a hole in there or if I caught it on a branch or something uh, that's why we bring sewing kits uh, I'll wait until I get home to sew it uh, but it's very windy uh, I'm very happy that I did buy this jacket uh, I was kind of wondering about the expenditure uh, spending that much on the jacket for the rain purposes but it does much more than just for the rain. It blocks the wind superbly, and it's got the uh, insulation, that Omni heat on the inside. Uh, this morning I was just walking around here with just that and the fleece on, and I was I was comfortable with that. So um, as I go along, uh, I'll test it out some more. And then I'm really pleased with uh, the outcome of the shakedown. Uh, being able to test everything out that I don't think there's anything that I didn't test uh, That I have any doubts about whether or not it's going to function on on the trail and uh, I'm going to head head down today uh, As I said, I would like to be back in Miami late tonight uh, so I can spend the weekend uh, There you don't have very many weekends left. So i uh, going to take advantage of that. I've done everything I needed to uh, here uh, I really, my, I had lofty goals of uh, doing the Georgia Loop, uh, but it just didn't, with the time frame that I got here, uh, I got here late, uh, I got here a day, actually two days later than I really wanted to, and so um, I didn't have the full time that I wanted to complete the loop. It's, a, it's on my list though. Don't let the uh, brightness of the sun fool you. It's cold and windy, which you got, you can probably hear from the uh, noise on the camera. I'm just gonna take a moment to take a, a view here. As I come around, the sun will probably be too bright. On. So I just uh, t checked the temperature and I'll include the snapshot of that. It said that it was 25 degrees, feels like 18. Uh, I don't know how far that town is or what elevation it is, but I believe it feels like 18 here as well. I stopped for some water and as you can see there's ice crystals in my water. It can be nice and cold. So a much better shot of the falls today. Uh, sky is clear, not so much fog. I sent a picture to Denai the other day and she said, beautiful. I'd like to see it in color. And I laughed because I told her it was in color, it's just due, due to the fog. The whiteness of the water and the dark background of the rocks. 
Today she'll appreciate this one much better. Give you a view of the surrounding as well. Beautiful day. So I made it back to the car, no problems, no difficulties. Uh, today I did test out uh, not wearing sock liners. I just wore, wore one pair of uh, wool socks. And it was really quite, quite the test coming down the stairs at the falls and that pathway. I felt my foot uh, sliding uh, a bit in my shoe. Uh, fortunately, I haven't felt any hot spots or tender spots. I'll give a good inspection once I uh, get home. I'm gonna change shoes here, so I'll do that as well. Uh, and that goes for the whole trip. I didn't find any uh, tinder or hot spots on my feet, so the trail runners worked out well. Uh, didn't have to break out the Luco tape or bust, bust any blisters out, so that's good. Uh, overall, the four days were a big success. Got to test everything I wanted to, the biggest Concern I had was the cold weather and whether or not I had the gear sufficient enough to do that and combat that. Didn't have one problem uh, being cold whatsoever. Uh, I the one thing I might look into is a, a pair of gloves that has the finger uh, sensitive for the phone because I got to, every time I wanted to text I had to take off my gloves. So I may swap, swap that out and uh, uh, go with that. And I may buy another uh, a buff. Uh, they, ca they came in handy, so uh, this one's only uh, like a half a size, so maybe I'll get a full length to replace that. Uh, it was great. I plan on doing maybe like a, a review of the four days and the lessons I learned, because uh, it was quite a bit. Uh, so we'll follow through on that. So for now, back them up. Move them out.